my name is Trisha Jacobs and I am the author of the journal workshop series. This is the junk journal workshop that we will be talking about today and chapter one in this book is about miniature watercolor paintings. Today I am going to show you how to make your own miniature watercolor paintings and on page 21 of the book is a digital painting that you can use for your artwork if you don't want to paint some on your own. I'm going to show you how to make these watercolor paintings with the grid pattern and the flower paintings, which I've made tons of. It's so easy to make more than one at a time. And then we punch them out so your artwork looks like that and it turns into this little watercolor paintings that you can put in your journal or tuck into a card if you would like to send them to a friend or just add some cute bright colors to your artwork. I love painting in my journal and I love adding paintings to my journal. I hope that you enjoy this lesson and I can't wait to show you how to do it. Let's go. Let's begin with nine inch by 12 inch watercolor paper. We want to cut the paper into quarters. Next, we will cut the 12 inch side in half, which will be at the six inch mark. Then we will cut the nine inch side in half at the four and a half inch mark. This task was performed on a guillotine cutter. This cutter was 12 inches by 12 inches. You can also use scissors or a rotary cutter to perform this task. Notice how the 9 inch by 12 inch watercolor paper is cut into quarters, so each piece will measure 4.5 inches by 6 inches when finished. Cut as many of the 4.5 inch by 6 inch pieces that you would like to paint. Here we cut many so that we could make multiple paintings. Here are examples of our flower watercolor paintings we made on the watercolor paper. These are also the grid paintings we made with the same watercolor paper. We will show you how to make these paintings in the next video. You can learn how to paint the grid and flowers in the following videos. These are some of the completed four and a half inch by six inch paintings. Here are some examples of the finished paintings we made from books two and three in the journal workshop series and the different size punches we used to cut out the miniature paintings. We punch the watercolor paintings in many shapes and sizes. This size was created specifically to put in your calendar page on your journal. The see-through window in the top of this punch allows us to see exactly what part of the painting we are cutting out. I like to include some of the flowers in each little rectangle. You can see how easy it is to make multiple paintings quickly I also love to work outside when the weather is good. Here is the square punch I like to use upside down so that I can see what I'm punching through the window. This is great for using on small scraps and is fun to include on your journal pages and in cards. Here we show you just a few examples of the many miniature watercolor paintings we punched out this day. 
here is an overview of everything that we were doing. Look at the piles of paintings. I love it. If you don't want to paint your own picture, you can download this digital flower painting on our website. I am also an online English teacher. I teach children in many different countries, China, Saudi Arabia, many different countries, and I love teaching online. This is my online classroom, and if you would like more information about teaching online, I put some links in my video below for different companies that I teach for. Let me know if you're interested. I would love to help you get signed up with your teaching journey, or if you have any questions about journaling, which I'm passionate about, I would love to answer your questions. Just shoot me a message or you can contact me on Instagram at Greenbelly Studios. Goodbye. Thank you. Coming up in our next videos, grid paintings and flower watercolor paintings.